January 15, 2010 will forever be an historic day in USF athletics. It's the day the Skip Holtz era began. Coach Skip Holtz, his wife Jennifer. I was so pleased. He told me he was going to find the best coach ever for USF, and he did just that. Holtz was introduced as just the second head football coach in USF history, and he wasted no time getting busy. I went right to the facility to meet with the, meet with the football team, and then I had a staff meeting, and then had an opportunity to go to reception to meet a lot of the boosters here in the program. Went to bed late, 1 o'clock. Uh, I was in the office at 6, had a staff meeting this morning at, uh, at 8, had a uh, meeting with the president at 10, was over here at noon, going to go back over there. We've got recruiting dinners that start tonight, so just a lot of great things going on. And it's a whirlwind, but it's all positive. USF is Holtz's third head coaching job following his tenures at East Carolina and Connecticut. Over the last few years, many schools have tried to woo Holtz away from ECU, but no job was just right until the Bulls came calling. It's hard to say goodbye. But as I told Doug, it would have been a lot harder for me to watch that airplane take off without me than it would have been to say goodbye to that pirate family. So I'm really excited about being here to the band, to the cheerleaders, to the Sun Dolls. I'm, I'm learning all the terminology. To Rocky, to Rocky, to Rocky, to Rocky. You know, the fact that he wants to be here, you know, it's pretty clear that, uh, you know, this was something that he that he wants to, wants to do, that... Uh, you know, he'll do it certainly with, with uh, great conviction, and uh, you know, I think that's an important element. Now, Holtz just happened to arrive in Tampa right in time for a big recruiting weekend, but attracting high school prospects wasn't the first recruiting job he had. Recruiting his current team was step one, and it seems like he's off to a pretty good start. With a thousand percent behind him, you know, I'm happy to have him. Great history, you know what I'm saying? Uh, looking him up five years, four bowl games, two back-to-back -back championships. Sounds like greatness to me. Well, we met with him last night. He seems like a uh, great individual, great character, motivator. I got real, uh, real happy just uh, just listening to him. To be honest with you, I feel like the program's going to be going the right direction. Like it a lot. Uh, I heard a lot of a lot of names flying around the last week, and this is the one that that I myself thought was was the best selection, and I think they did a really good job with it. I, I, I was impressed to be honest. You know, me and the seniors, we sat down with them for about an hour, just the seniors and him, and. Uh, he really, he really did a good job selling himself to us. But it's not just the current Bulls that have bought in. I think it's a breath of fresh air. I think he's a family guy, which is very important to the players and the coaches in the university. I think he'll be uh, present in the community, very visible. And um, honestly, I, I don't, in the long term, um, I don't think there could have been a better hire for, for South Florida at this point in our, in our uh, uh, you know, in the, in the, 13 years that we've had the program. And you can take it from one of Holtz's former players, that's not misguided trust. I've said it before numerous times, a man of integrity, a man that first and foremost he wants to develop young men into grown men. And uh, if you're a parent, you can feel confident that when your kid comes here, he's going to develop a winning attitude. Yeah, and uh, by the way, Holtz is also pretty darn good at getting the fans a little riled up too. Excitement and enthusiasm, and I'm looking forward to this fall. I'm yeah. That's why I'm here. For Bulls Vision, Joel Godet, Tampa.